Welcome to Silhouette Studio 101. Here's what you'll need to get started. The Silhouette Studio software CD, which will be found in the box, or you can go to silhouetteamerica.com. Here at the home page, you just need to select the support tab at the top right corner, and this will take you to our software downloads page. On this page, you'll want to click download the latest software to get the newest version of Silhouette Studio. Once you reach the software page, simply select your operating system, Mac or PC, and the Silhouette Studio will begin to download. Now just follow the prompts and your Silhouette Studio will be ready to use in just a few minutes. Once Silhouette Studio downloads, the Silhouette Studio icon will pop up on your desktop. I'm going to show you here on my Mac. Once you click the icon, the updates window will open. This is where it will tell you if Silhouette Studio has any updates. Currently it does not. If you just click OK, Silhouette Studio will begin to open and within just a few seconds you have your software ready to go. If this is the first time you're using Silhouette Studio, I would recommend going to your file menu and selecting preferences. This is where you can select from about 10 different languages. You can also select how often you update your software as well as some of the basic settings Once you've decided on the language and the update schedule, if you'll go to measurements, this is where you can select your basic settings of measurement, depending on where you're at or what you prefer. Within this window, you can select a variety of different settings. Within each window, there's multiple settings and different options that the software gives you, depending on what you're looking for and what you'd like to use your Silhouette Studio for. Along with these more advanced features that we've added to the Silhouette Studio, we've also tried to add some things that uh, just make the Studio more fun to use and, and just more customizable, like the option to change your colors. As you can see down in the right hand corner, this option gives you the ability to change the different colors and templates of how the Silhouette Studio software looks. Let's go through some of the basic functions of Silhouette Studio. Here at your startup screen, you'll see your cutting space here in the middle that's over your cutting mat. You'll also find your fit to window button. This way, if you lose your cutting space, you can easily find it here. You'll also find your zoom in and zoom out buttons. On the left hand side, you'll find some of your design tools, like your basic line, You'll find your rectangle, this little green dot, you can size and maneuver the rectangle to any place on the screen. You'll also find your rounded corner rectangle, of which you can adjust the corners as you see here. Within each shape, you'll find edit points. These points will help you resize and adjust the image to your desired liking. You can also rotate the image with this green dot. The next design tool is your circle, shown here. By clicking on your image, it will open up some of the specifics about that particular image. Here you can see that above and on the side of the image, it'll show you your exact measurements. This is important if you like to customize or need a specific size for the project you're working on. Now, if you use your right mouse click, you'll find other options for each individual shape. And most importantly, the last feature is your undo button that contains unlimited undos. One of Silhouette's greatest features is our online store. If you click the mouse button on the left hand side of your screen, this will open up the Silhouette online store. Once you've arrived at the store, there's many different options, from free shapes to clearance shapes, our most popular designs, or you can just go to new releases and browse the newest items in the online store. 
while browsing, if you see a shape you like, you can simply click Add to Cart, and that shape will be added to your cart and let you continue shopping. If you can't find what you're looking for here, just go back to the home page and go to the search options. Here we're going to search baby, and all the shapes that have to do with the baby or babies will open up into your window. Now you can browse through those shapes, click Add to Cart, and you're ready to go. On the left side of the screen, you'll find your cart. This will show you your total, and you can browse your shapes. At the top, if you click Cart, this will show you your total and the shapes that are currently in your cart. Click Check Out, put in your password, and click Submit. Once the images have downloaded, they'll automatically load into your library. You can now exit the online store. This is your library. You can browse all your different shapes, you can add them to folders, or you can just go to recent downloads, where I'll find the shapes that I just downloaded. Once you find the shape you'd like to cut, simply double click and it will be added to your home screen. At this point, simply click on the image and you can resize the shape to whatever size you'd like. Now we can go over placing and sizing. Once the image is on your home screen, you can use that image in a variety of different ways and different sizes. Here, you can set the size of paper you're cutting on top of the image of your cutting mat. This way you can use small pieces of paper on your cutting mat and know the exact position where it will cut. It's here that you can also select portrait or landscape layouts. Here you can rotate your image to a variety of different positions. This bar will increase or decrease your cutting mat view. One of the most exciting features about the silhouette is the ability to cut out fonts or text. On the left hand side of the screen in your toolbar you'll find an A with a red line next to it. This is your text button. Once you've selected that button you can write in any word or text that you'd like. And on the right hand side you can scroll and find the different fonts to find your desired font. Here we've selected a cursive style or scroll type of font. As we zoom in here, you'll see that the letters connect, but they show cut points in between. What we're going to do now is weld. This will connect all those letters together so that they're one shape. Here on the top right, you'll find your modify features. Simply click the weld button, and the software will do the rest. Now you'll see those images and those cut points have changed. It's all one image and will cut out as one piece. This next feature is called offsetting or shadowing. Also here at the top right, you'll find your offset feature. Simply click offset, you can select the size of your shadow. Once you've reached the desired look, simply click apply and you'll have your shadow and your regular text separated. Thanks for watching Silhouette Studio 101. For more information, please check out some of our other demo videos.